Hello everyone and thanks for watching Edupedia World Videos. This is Sabiuddin Ahmed Siddiqui. Now we are continuing with the second part of Java Swing GUI components. We left off on 18 commonly used packages of Java X dot Swing. So now continuing with the previous lessons and connecting with the new lesson is coming ahead. Now this was the slide where we stopped uh, the previous lesson and now continuing with the 18 public packages provided by Swing API where API stands for Application Programming Interface or Advanced Programming Interface. As you can see the number of packages available in 18 packages, they are all 18 packages. Each one has different functionality. Now I can call one by one and to elaborate something a bit about each package java x dot accessibility java x dot swing java x dot swing dot border as you can see the sub package which will guide you that the border will be appearing with the swing and with the main class is the java x and apart from this thing as you can see the java x dot swing basically is the main package holder and java x dot accessibility that means it's the default you can say that accessibility all accessibility available uh, that means something like that which is uh, related to swing and moving on to the next one that is java x dot swing dot color chooser as you can see that color chooser means that means if you want to refer or if you want to reference color chooser on the form so you can see that this will help you loading color chooser java x dot swing dot event which will help out to just call all the events from keyboards or mouse java x dot swing dot file chooser basically this will allow you to have a dialog box where you can click on the file and that can be used to uh, point to some other folders or files and java x dot swing dot plaf pluggable pluggable plugin and java swing dot plaf java x dot swing dot plaf dot basic java x dot swing dot plaf dot metal java x dot swing dot plaf dot multi java x dot swing dot plaf dot synth now the next one is java x dot swing dot table now moving on to some table data according to data aspects java x dot swing dot table this is a table which will be appearing uh, uh, when you want to refer it to hold some data java x dot swing dot text as you can see the text or you want to just manipulate with the text so text reference will allow text to be displayed java x dot swing dot text dot html java x dot swing dot text dot html dot parser the next one is the java x dot swing dot text dot rtf now here you can see that rtf stands for rich text format as a matter of fact the text basically allows you to just hold all the text simple plain text without any formatting and rich text formatting which provides all formatting with it and if you want to refer as a text rich text format box so it will support accordingly now you can see java x dot swing dot tree java x dot swing dot undo as you can see the tree it could be like that, that there are tree structure then the next one is the java x dot swing dot undo so you can see that these 18 public packages provide you different functionality on the other hand i am just pointing out this one this is java swing java x dot swing dot asterisk semicolon that means this is enough once you have written this statement with the import keyword that is import java x dot swing dot asterisk semicolon so this means they are all referencing if none of these work so that that time you will have to reference them explicitly that means if it is not reading it through this package source that is your java x dot swing so you will have to further extend swing dot let's suppose plaf dot basic or something like that so this is where this will at that time you will have to reference otherwise java x dot swing is enough with dot asterisk and semicolon so I hope you will understand all these 18 packages. They have different functionalities and applications. I hope that you all are now aware of these 18 packages provided by Swing API. Now moving on to the next slide that is about 
द मैथड्स यूज टू कॉल डिफरेंट लेवल्स द कॉमनली यूज कॉम्पोनेंट्स क्लास मैथड्स न बेसिकली आई आर दीज इंक्लूडेड हेयर टू जस्ट अंडरस्टैंड दैट इफ आई एम क्रिएटिंग सम काइंड ऑफ ऑब्जेक्ट और इफ आई एम इंस्टेंशिएटिंग द ऑब्जेक्ट एंड आई नीड टू नो अबाउट दैट इफ आई वॉन्ट टू एड समथिंग इफ आई वॉन्ट टू सेट देयर साइज फॉर सम पर्टिकुलर एरिया और समथिंग लाइक दैट द अकॉर्डिंग टू द स्पेस अवेलेबल सो आई हैव टू नो अबाउट दिस थिंग दैट वॉट इज द साइज अबाउट एंड देन द लेट आउट अबाउट फॉर एग्जाम्पल इफ यू वॉन्ट टू जिस सेट द ले आउट फॉर सेंटर टॉप बॉटम लेफ्ट राइट सो दिस विल बी द सेटिंग द ले आउट ऑफ द फ्रेम जे फ्रेम और दैट इज नोन एज फॉर्म कैनवस एंड द सेट विजिबल मीन्स दैट मीन्स यू विल हैव द property to visible way for example if you have kept something on the button's code behind so you will see that if you press the button so when the button pressed you will see the event occurs when the event occurs that means if you want to visible something so that will be visible at that time when the button is pressed or something like suppose radio buttons check boxes something like that now public void add component and you can see the methods available for component sizes layouts and true and false which is known as boolean values so boolean values means where you want to use whether it is true or false on or off yes or no zero and one so basically this contains these values now so first of all we will take a look of add method public void add component c is a parameter for as a component this method adds a component on another component that means you have called a form on the form you are going to place a button so the button will be added on to the form next is public void set size yes integer width integer height basically sometimes we use uh, set bounds as well for making the size as well of the buttons of the form or something like that now you can see that public void set size integer width integer height as you can see it is very simple this method sets the size of the component that means if the button x axis should be 10 or 100 it depends upon normally we keep it 100 height normally we keep it 50 or 40 this method sets the size of the component in x and y direction the next method is public set void public void set layout layout manager m this is all are the parameters which will be passed and to call the component you are referencing this method sets the layout manager for the component then the last one is the public method that is again public void set visible boolean b now the state will be true or either false so if the public void set visible that means if you want to display the form yes or no yes if you want to make the form or button display or it should be visible to true so boolean value should be true or false this method sets the visibility of the component it is by default false that means if you place it if you have not placed anything and you just used it so if it the form is not displaying that means you have to further check whether it is set to true or false so this is about the methods being used uh, while you will be writing a program so i hope you will like this and in the next tutorial or in the next video you will see the continuation of this form of this uh, video so we will be explaining the next programs in the next video so keep watching thanks for watching